Hello, uh, I'm Dave Shelton and this is my book, A Boy and a Bear in a Boat. Um, it has this ridiculous cover which David Fickling was, was kind enough to let me do, which I'm very proud of. Um, and it's a, it's a story about a boy and a bear in a boat. And I'm going to quickly go on to reading something from it so I don't have to make anything else up. Uh, the maps. The boy was reading the comic again, as he had done the day before, and the day before that. He still couldn't work out what was going on. He'd read it over and over, and the same things happened again and again, and none of it made any sense. A bit like the last three days, really. He gave up again, and put the comic away under the seat. Splish, splish, splish. Bear! Bear carried on rowing and looked at the boy grumpily. Don't you dare, he said. Say, are we nearly there yet? Oh, okay. The bear said nothing more, but made a point of huffing and puffing, effortfully, despite rowing at the same even pace as ever, pushing the boat along at impressive speed without undue strain. The boy stared out to sea and up into the sky, slowly taking in the view in all directions. He found nothing there to surprise him. He looked around the bottom of the boat, tidy as ever except for a bottle at the boy's feet containing the last couple of mouthfuls of ginger beer. Do you want some pop? The bear looked up with a more kindly air this time. No, thank you. There's not much left, is there? I think we'd better try to make it last. But you have it if you like. No, it's okay. I'll wait a bit. Splish, splish, splish. Bear? Yes? We will. The boy hesitated, trying out the question in his head a few times. He wasn't sure it would go down too well. What? said the bear, not too impatiently. Maybe it would be okay. We will be all right, won't we? I mean, we won't run out before we get there. Of course not. Don't worry. We just need to be a little bit sensible with the supplies. Careful, just to be on the safe side. Sensible, said the boy. Yes, of course. And we're not... Again, he hesitated. What? said the bear evenly. He still seemed calm. We're not... Now, don't take offence, but, um... What? We're not lost, are we? The bear stopped rowing. For, a lo for as long as it took for the boat to drift to a stop, he didn't say a word. Then he carried on, not saying a word. And then after that, he was silent for a while. And all this time, he stared the boy straight in the eye. How dare you, he said at last, slowly and quietly. What do you take me for, some kind of incompetent? No, oh no, not at all, it's just... Well? Well, it's been a long while, hasn't it? Even with anemones in the currents. Anomalies, said the bear. Anomalies, yes, said the boy. Yes, said the bear, his head still held in a defiant pose. Anomalies in the currents, yes. Tricky things, currents, you know, nothing I could do. But everything is under control. So we're not lost then? No. The bear sounded defiant and angry, but somehow he didn't look it. Something in his expression was wrong, unsure, unconvincing. He was almost looking at the boy, but not quite. The boy saw it at once. He rose from his seat and stared into the bear's eyes. The bear stared back. They stared at each other for a long time. The bear blinked first. Say not.